I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Oh, he's still here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. Apparently, this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. Well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge, man. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it and he knew it was true. And then the Newsweek wife was like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? Apparently the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. It's in the May issue. I mean, really, how could you know, though? How could anyone else know? You know. I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. I don't, know. don't you think it was like a little suspicious? It's a little suspicious. Every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on him, I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody would do that. Bam! Oh, oh. I don't want to leave no mysteries.